The Switch is in its fifth year. 3D fighting franchise Tekken is now represented in Smash thanks to newcomer Kazuya. Sakurai will present more information on June 28th at 7 a.m. Pacific Time. Life is Strange Remastered is coming to Switch. True Colors, the new Life is Strange entry is also arriving. Both mature teen drama story games will launch September 10th. Square Enix's action game take on Guardians of the Galaxy is confirmed for Switch and landing October 26th. Worms Rumble, a multiplayer battle, drops June 23rd, and pre-ordering today gets you a 25% discount off the game and a special costume with Switch colors. The gorgeous hand-painted side-scrolling turn-based RPG Astria Ascending is coming on September 30th. Ascending launches on Nintendo Switch September Two Point County. Two Point Campus from Sega lets you develop a university and manage resources to create a bustling center for learning. It will be available next year. Lots of creative tools are at your disposal to make the school your Monkey Ball is celebrating its 20th anniversary with remasters of three games available in one package called Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania, available October 5th. Mario Party Superstars will be released October 29th and will contain over 100 mini-games from the N64 era with five classic boards, all of this with a fresh coat of modern graphics. The first of two major reveals was the announcement that while Metroid Prime 4 is still in development, Metroid Dread, a new 2D entry in the series developed by the fantastic team that made the 3DS remake of Metroid 2, will be coming to Switch on October 8th. Yes, and Amiibo of Samus with her fantastic new suit and the dreaded Emmy Baddie will launch alongside the game. The ever popular Just Dance is getting its next entry on November 4th. The over the top arcade racing game Cruise and Blast is a Switch console exclusive coming this fall. Four players can race together, so pick your favorite vehicle and hit the road. Dragon Ball Z Hakuro plus a new Power Awakens set is an action RPG coming with four complete stories, all bundled together with two boss battles and landing on the Switch September 24th. Mario Golf Super Rush is looking great, launches June 25th, and we got a quick glimpse of the various modes of play. Free updates are also planned for the game as well. Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin is a vast action RPG. This game has turn-based battles using monsters much like in Pokemon and includes co-op. Launches July 9th, demo drops June 25th. WarioWare gets a new entry called Get It Together, which includes new co-op gameplay and the classic bespoke micro games the series is known for. It launches September 10th. Dark Demon RPG Shin Megami Tensei the uh, 5 <laughs> launches November 12th exclusively on Switch. Pre-orders for a physical copy go live June 21st. Pretty great artwork. Danganronpa is a game? It looks absolutely terrifying and random. Decadence collects four mostly visual novel-like games together, one of which is an expanded version of a game with new content. It's bundled physically on Switch, slated for later this year. Exclusive content is coming to the Switch version of Fatal Frame, a horror take on Pokemon Snap available this year. Gory first-person shooter Doom Eternal gets a new campaign expansion today. Skateboarding games Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 get remasters for the Switch, and they launch June 25th. Strange Brigade, an action game with first-person shooting puzzle solving, launches later today. Mario teams up with the Ubisoft Rabbids yet again in this tactical game where you can run freely around the battlefield. Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope is scheduled to launch next year. Advance Wars returns with gorgeous 3D reimaginings of the first two games coming to Switch December 3rd. 
Now for the final segment of the Direct, focused on action-adventure series The Legend of Zelda, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity's new DLC was shown off. Wave 1 is available June 18th, with Wave 2 coming in November. Skyward Sword HD was showcased with a focus on its special role as a prequel to the series. And the second major announcement was new hardware in the form of a Zelda Game & Watch to celebrate 35 years of the series. It will include three long-form adventures in the NES Originals and Link's Awakening complete with four-tone green color palette, and it will launch November 12th. Finally, we saw some incredible footage of Breath of the Wild sequel two years have passed since it was first announced, but today we finally saw some new footage and it seems like there is some connection to the realm of Skyloft. Now the air is within limits for Link to explore, meaning more methods of travel and more places to go. Nintendo is aiming for a 2022 release and I could not be more hyped. That's the Direct. Thank you. Bye-bye.